What up, everybody? Welcome back to Operation Mock Show. I'm Chris Orozco, your host, as always. And today we're going to be doing a deep dive into essentially what intrusive thoughts are, where they come from, and ultimately how to integrate them and learn from them. This was actually the thing that had me learn shadow integration in the first place. It's actually kind of a hardcore story that I don't really tell a lot of people, but I might as fucking well, because this is probably what you're dealing with. When I first learned shadow integration about 10 years ago, it was because my mind was scaring the absolute shit out of me. I had always tried to be a good person. I'd always tried to be kind and nice and loving and caring and all that good stuff. And so my more, let's say, mean-spirited parts of my personality had been repressed for a really long time. This led me to get walked on. This led me to get emotionally and psychologically abused. This led to a lot of problems because I wasn't standing up for myself. Ultimately, all the parts of my personality that are in charge of standing up for me got so fucking pissed off at the way that I was treating them and letting other people treat them that they're like, you know what? Fuck this. We're just going to kill everybody who hurts you. So I started having all these really scary intrusive thoughts about literally murdering the people that were closest to me that were hurting me whether they knew it or not. This scared the absolute shit out of me. I thought I was becoming some kind of gross serial killer monster or something like that until I went to a therapist, told him what was going on with me and he literally laughed. He laughed because he's like, dude, do you have any idea how common that is? Like, you know that's normal, right? And at the time, I was like, well, if that's normal, then we're all fucked. But as a result of learning shadow integration, I understood why this was happening and why it's normal and ultimately how to overcome it. And those intrusive thoughts are simply not a part of my life anymore. They become something much more helpful. So what an intrusive thought is, at least from my experience, is a part of your personality that is trying really fucking hard to get your attention, to teach you some lesson, and to get you to make some changes in your environment that has a really important message for you to hear, but you keep pushing it down. And so it has to get more and more forceful to get you to listen to the point where it essentially just barges into your brain and makes you think all kinds of thoughts that you don't really wanna be thinking. It can be scary, it can be disorienting, it could be just a really terrifying experience, but it's actually really valuable because the thing is, it's trying to teach you a lesson. For me, what it was, the intrusive thoughts of like, hey, fucking kill all these people, it was essentially saying, don't let people abuse you anymore. Hold your boundaries, stand up for yourself, take care of yourself, make sure that you're treated well. And it was needed to be that forceful because I wasn't doing things. I wasn't doing what I needed to do to take care of myself. And no part of your personality wants to be repressed. It's gonna get heard one way or another. And intrusive thoughts are one of the ways that your unconscious material can start to make itself conscious for you. So the real question is, these intrusive thoughts that you're experiencing, what are they saying and why might they be saying that? Now this can be a very, very terrifying experience to go through, because for me, this was introduced me to the shadow. This is what introduced me to the fact that I am not entirely a good person. I also have the capacity for tremendous evil, just like we all do, which is one of the first lessons in shadow integration, is that you're not entirely a good person. All the horrible people in the history of humanity have all been people just like you. And so you have the capacity to do all those horrible things. And the more you can keep an eye on the parts of your personality that may want to be doing those things, the more responsible you can be for them. But ultimately, if you integrate them, you can use them to make yourself more whole and your life a hell of a lot more enjoyable. Now, those intrusive thoughts are simply not a part of my life anymore because I've learned the lesson. I simply stand up for myself. I don't hang out with people that want to abuse me or treat me in any way that I don't want to be treated. I stand up for myself. I do whatever it is that my psyche dictates that I do in order to remain whole and healthy. And so now the intrusive thoughts simply don't have a reason to exist anymore. So if you are listening to them, if you finally let them in, and it's important to know that when you do that, you're kind of opening Pandora's box in a certain way. So it's really important to do it in a really safe container. I had a lot of repressed anger that I needed to deal with, so I started taking Kung Fu. Uh, I started finding healthy ways to express my anger. I joined a men's group. Uh, I went into therapy. I did all kinds of stuff to help me express the backlog of emotion in a safe container where I wasn't gonna hurt anybody. Because once you start making contact with some of those darker things and they feel like they have an entry point into your world, they can kind of get excited about that and be like, okay, well, I'm just gonna fucking come in here and clean house. And so you really wanna make sure that you're keeping an eye on that so that they don't cause unnecessary trouble because they're gonna to wanna to do that. So as you start releasing them in a healthy, conscientious way, make sure that you're keeping an eye on how they wanna to express themselves. Only do that in a healthy way. And if you do that, the need for them to be intrusive will simply die down. And if you're integrating why they're there in the first place, then it simply won't happen anymore. It'll turn into a source of wisdom and a good strategy to make your life a lot more enjoyable. So I hope you see yourself in this. I hope this helps. I'm Chris Roscoe. I love you, and I'll see you next time.